Hey there, YouTubers. Back in my poorly lit kitchen that <laughs> doesn't have a good way to do cooking videos, but I'm going to give it a shot anyways. Uh, it won't be on camera, but that's not what you're here to see. You're here to see the food. And I'm going to make hash brown breakfast cups. Sort of a variation of those. I'm going to start with a bag of Arita shredded hash browns. Now, if you're ambitious and not lazy like me, just get a potato and shred it. So I'm gonna dump some of these in a bowl. I'm gonna guesstimate that much. About two cups, I'd say. All right, I'm gonna break these down. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in it. Not much, a couple tablespoons. And I'm gonna put an egg in there. Dash of salt. Um, I'm probably a bad person. I don't use a lot of salt. I don't really like salt. This is obviously pepper. I think we get enough in our daily diets. All right, now I got a fork. I'm gonna mix these up. I'm totally aware that there are reasons to use salt when you're cooking. I just don't use much of it. Put that off to the side. While those are waiting, I got some mushrooms. I'm gonna cut these down. Try to keep them relatively the same size. Now what I'm doing here is you can do whatever you want to do. So we got the mushrooms. Before I get too behind, because I'm, I'm trying to cook quick, which is never good for a video, is it? I didn't think so. Um, got my new wave cooktop out. I wish I had a real nice kitchen to do videos in, but I don't. So I got a frying pan. Got olive oil in the frying pan. A couple tablespoons. Doesn't really matter. We'll put the mushrooms in. Alright, next we're gonna dice up an onion. At most a quarter cup. I usually just tend to guesstimate on amounts. Get those going. Now I got a green pepper. I am not using a lot of green pepper because there's not a lot of room for a lot of green pepper. All right, gonna... That's probably enough right there. Find something else to do with that or I'll just end up eating it. I apologize for the poor angle. I'll try to do better in the future. All right, we'll put these in with the mushrooms. There, give these a stir. Now I got a piece of ham steak. I don't need much of it. A little bit more olive oil in there. Now the things I'm putting in, you can put whatever you want in. This is what I chose. So now I'm gonna chunk these down. Kinda small. Pre-cooked so it doesn't need a lot of cooking time. All right, I'm gonna put those that in. And now as I pick up after myself, we'll be right back while I let this cook a bit. This is one of the smaller versions of the uh, perfect tortilla cooker. That's what we're gonna use. All right, I sprayed that down with Pam. And again, this is what I'm using. Uh, normally I use just like normal muffin tins, but uh, Let's see how this goes. It's really not rocket surgery. <laughs> You're just trying to form the shredded potatoes to the mold. Should work. I think it should work. Another good use for the tortilla pan. I think I guesstimated a pretty decent amount. All right. So that is going to go in a new wave oven in a second. I got to clean my hands up. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I think that stuff's cooked up pretty decently. I'm going to play the shuffle game. Move this stuff out of the way. Now I'm going to get the new wave mini out. I'll put this sucker in there. I guess that's an interesting shape. And we're going to cook it. I'm gonna give it, I think it should take 10, 12 minutes. So I'm gonna start off with 10 minutes. 
I'm just trying to bake it a little bit and get it a little bit crispy and, and kind of make a hash brown shell out of it. So we'll be back. Okay, let's see. Let me see something here. Get a spatula. In America, we call so many things the same name. Spatula is also a pancake turner. I think I might be able to end up getting this out of there, but I think it needs a little bit more time. So I'm going to start off with another three minutes. Keep track. What are we up to? 13? It's crisping up, as you can see. Now we're going to put the simple mix of stuff I made. See how much we can get in there. Again, this is just an idea. Use whatever stuff you like. I think we can get it all in. Now we're going to put some Colby Jack on top. About that much. However much you want to put on it. However much cheese you want. Alright, now we're going to try to melt it. I'm going to give that about three minutes to see how it melts down. I'm going to stop it after about two minutes. I think that's good. Next, I'm going to take an egg. I'm going to crack it over another bowl so you don't get any shells in it. I'm going to put an egg right on top. I thought right on top. Push that down a little bit. See when we get that egg yolk in the center. There we go. Oh, I might have cracked it a little bit. And now we're gonna give this. Uh, let's start with six minutes. Cook up that egg on there, huh? Cooking this at 350 Fahrenheit. I think it needs a couple more minutes. We'll do three more minutes. I like my egg a little bit done. You can, you know, this is the how do you like your egg portion of the show, so you pick how you like your egg. Okay, I think that looks like a thing of beauty. We're gonna let it cool because it's very hot. <laughs> See, food should look good as well as obviously taste good. All right, I got a plate and I got an oven mitt because I don't want to burn myself on this hot thing. And I think I mentioned this is the first time I've tried it in this uh, thing that was meant for tortilla shells. I think I can get under it. Oh, I think we're gonna get it out. Let's see, sorry you're not on camera, but I'm trying not to ruin my food. Oh, you didn't get to see most of that. There we go. There it is. I think if you make this for somebody, they're obviously gonna like it. Doesn't that look good? Oh, come on, it looks good. Fly over. See, the potatoes came out pretty good, kept their shape. Got a little crispy, some nice cheese in it. That egg looks pretty good. Okay, let's cut the sucker. Oh, see the egg? Yeah, look in there. It looks pretty good. All right, let's taste this. All right. A bit more pepper because I like me some pepper. All right, there you go. There is a hash brown breakfast cup. Mm, 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 mm. I like that. And I'll tell you what, come back to my channel in a month. I got a couple ideas of a couple more versions of this, so you might see it again. Until then, give this a try. Hope you have a great and wonderful day. Honestly, as I sit here editing this, I got more ideas because I want to make another.